So this is it. Oh, yes, almost a year in the Beautiful. making. Beautiful. Tell the, us how uh, this the genesis of this project. <clears throat> well, um, I can't remember the episode exactly, but it was an episode of Twig almost a year ago. I think the title is Aaron's Arcade, because oh, Aaron yeah. Newcomb was on. Yeah, yeah. And he brought in his own uh, bar top arcade uh, machine What's and nice showed it off. <laughs> and, you know, he had built it. Aaron's a maker. <laughs> he likes to tweak, you know, all, all these things and, and make it make it uh, to his own specifications. And you wanted to do it, I remember. I yeah. made a, a random offhanded comment during the show, like, man, I've always wanted one of those things. Someday maybe I'll do it. Well, a woodworker fan of the network, Diami Palatki from the East Coast, uh, reached out to me shortly after, and he was like, hey, I work with wood, and I'd be happy to work with you on this project. I will do it. Um, you know, if, if you're interested, and I mean, what am I going to say? No, I'm not interested in getting a, oh, an arcade. He did it. I mean, look at the I mean, inlay. He this is a beautiful kind of bird's eye maple with an yeah. incredible grain. I mean, Excellent finish. I mean, the finish quality is super shiny, super slick. I love it. <coughs> I mean, I love it. Like, so you did the guts and he did the, the glory, so to speak. Yeah, so, um, you know, he he's a busy guy. He's got he's got a full-time job. He's also got a lot of uh, woodworking projects and everything. So, he does a podcast, right? Uh, and he Very does, good. Yes. Very good woodworking podcast. Um, yeah, and so, you know, he's, he's used to taking on these projects and doing them, and uh, life is just kind of crazy. So it took a little bit of time, but we got there. And I was, you know, we were just always very patient because we knew in the end uh, when it happened, it was just going to be an incredible gift. So tell us a little bit about the insides here. Well, we've got a Raspberry 2 powered, okay. powering um, all of this. Okay, and that's and enough running, power for this. Yeah, and it's running RetroPie, which is um, basically a system image that Aaron Newcomb, I've spent some time with Aaron Newcomb uh, a couple of days ago once we finally got this in-house. And Aaron and I just kind of, you know, popped the, the machine upside down and really got to the cables. There it is all sprawled out on the table, actually. Uh, everything before we got started. You can see the controls and You underneath. can order those all online. The, yep, the I, buttons, ordered, I ordered the, switches, the, the buttons, the, um, the U-Track uh, roller pad, got that off of eBay, got a few things off of Amazon, got a monitor off of Amazon, uh, pieced it all together. I probably spent close to around $450 okay. on parts. You know, we um, had a main out. machine when we first started in the studio five years ago that was powered by a Mac Mini. The Mini alone would have cost more than that. Right, yes. So that's a pretty good price. I mean, thinking about the, just the Pi itself, right? Like the it's Raspberry amazing. Pi, what is it, $35? Yeah, yeah. And this is the Raspberry Pi 2. Of course, this is a newer version now. And if I want to... You could to, upgrade it for 35 I could upgrade bucks. it, and that gives me Bluetooth. <laughs> and that might be great for, yeah. like, external Bluetooth uh, controllers. I love how this systems. is all mounted. Look at that. It's but so, you know, that's a speaker, uh, basically a desktop speaker that was taken apart. Diami uh, took it apart and, you know... Uh, sealed the speakers to the grills on the wood and uh, put the, you know, the this, controls this for it on Dell the This Dell monitor, now, Kara, come around back, because I think you're off at an angle, which means you're not going to see how crisp and clear it is, but if you shoot straight on, this is a beautiful monitor. This was an inexpensive monitor, though? I paid close to 100 for it. Um, really I could have nice. gone less expensive, but I was like, you know, at that point, like, you're saving 20 bucks or whatever, and it, <laughs> I, went, I made sure you can notice it's 4.3, so yeah, I made sure to do 4.3 because all the old school they're kind of retro that, games are all 4.3. all TV stuff. And I didn't want to have to deal with black bars. But this is a nice, this actually looks better than those games ever looked. Yeah, in the, in you know, some purists are going to say CRT all the way because right. you get the no, scan lines no, and all no, that kind no, of stuff. No, 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 I don't want scan lines. Can we play a game while you're talking, or is that well, going to distract you? No, go let's for it. Let's play Tetris. I mean, we might play? distract me a little bit, but that's okay. So uh, let's Good, see I want you to be distracted. We'll go ahead and fire off Tetris. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there we go. I guess I'll... Go sideways. Okay, you have to shoot. You have so to shoot sideways. we've got the coin. <laughs> the coin uh, drops here. We both have them. Oh look! And All then, right. uh, so you could actually. You don't have a mechanism. But oh yeah. No, people, that's a that's a touch that Diami put in there. Like he was that. like, I've got these. Do you want me to put them on? Yeah. There? Thanks, Diami. Uh, so we'll go ahead and. Oh, that's right. We'll do this. Oh, and here oh, we go. How come you're beating me already? Oh, wait. Well, I think it's the... Okay. There we go. All right. It's we the, don't even uh, know how to play. The how to play. Now this looks really good, but this is the same game. As uh, do we have Diami on the phone? Yes, we do. Oh, hi, Diami. Hi, Leo. Oh man, you did a Hello. beautiful job on this thing. This is thank you. Gorgeous. Um, how how long? I remember we talked to you six months ago, and you were building it at that time. So how long did it take total? In raw hours, it's probably in the ballpark of fifty to seventy hours. Wow. And are the plans oh, online wow. anywhere for uh, this? Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's <laughs> for this exact one for Jason, there are no plans other than what's in my head. Um, <laughs> but what I did was the one that Aaron made that inspired Jason, 
was on instructables. Okay. Right. So I followed his plans, and then I actually had to widen it a little bit to fit the rollerball, which yeah, isn't in is, the original. This thing right. is huge. Yeah, the original plans did not have the rollerball, and I really wanted to figure out how we could get a rollerball in there because I'm a huge fan of Marble Madness. It's oh. like one of my all-time favorite games, arcade games. And uh, Diami was like, yeah, I think we can make that work. And so I, I believe, Diami, you, you kind of tweaked, tweaked things to kind of widen it a little bit so that it would make room for that in the middle. Exactly. That's one of the reasons I had you send me all of the controllers before I started building was to make sure that they would all fit. Right. So I took the plans that had all the buttons and physically laid that out and then literally just cut it and spread it apart till I could fit the rollerball in the middle. Oh, man, you won. <laughs> well, that's because I've been stacking. You're distracted. I am distracted. He's distracted. I'm I stop. Him. Look at this. So uh, you'd, it looks like... Uh, is that a sander and what kind of tools are these fairly uh, typical tools you're using or for woodworkers they would be that's yeah. a that's a small router oh it's a router and that's how you I, made the holes mm -hmm. he, well no i did the holes with the drill press but the roller ball has that black sleeve that retains the ball yeah and the sleeve is not as deep as the uh, thickness of the panel so, so i actually had to remove wood on the back uh, to, to make it flush how nice what a beautiful job you did and this is, feels like it's going to last a lifetime. Now, did you paint it? How did you do this? The no, it's a it's a wipe on urethane finish. I love uh, it. It's just regular minwax cut love with it. mineral spirits. And for the name Yellow Gold, Mame, <laughs> I love that. Jason's uh, band is Yellow Gold. Did you draw that on? That looks really good. You're good at that. That looks good. No, no that's actually that's printed on. Oh. Um, what I do is you print it onto like a transfer a shipping label pack you peel off all the shipping labels and you print on what's essentially wax paper uh -huh. and then you can actually the ink doesn't set and you can rub it onto the wood and that's just uh print, printer ink on the wood so it's a tattoo basically and then you just essentially seal yeah. that in with the urethane right look at that right jason you get to keep this I, it's kind of crazy I, I it's one of those i'm not worthy moments i, I know like, how you how feel on earth, how yeah. on earth like did this all come together and diami i can't i can't even thank you enough man with without your help and, and you reaching out to me like this would not exist um this is just amazing uh, no problem it was a, it was a joy to build <laughs> nice little touches too i love the speaker yeah, grills totally. that you put in here i mean this is, there's just so many touches throughout diami was also very um very conscious and and you can probably explain it better than i can but just about the fact that wood can expand and contract based on kind of the environment and weather and all that kind of stuff. Diami, you, you built in some kind of protection measures against that uh, affecting the, the, uh, the woodwork. Yeah, the, the way you see all the grain is all oriented vertically, so it's all going to move together. Uh, and really geez. the only spot I was, I was nervous about was that front section is going to widen and narrow as it expands and contracts. So the bottom is plywood, so that bottom plywood panel actually just underneath. floats there because it won't move. Right. So as it expands and contracts, the, the bottom piece will stay in place. Yeah, we can't really see it here because it's underneath. It's up against the Exactly. Table. That's why I went with plywood because you can't see it. Mm -hmm. So the wood on here, is this maple? It's curly maple. Mm -hmm. It's all the blonde wood. And then the darker sections are purple heart. Beautiful. That purple heart is gorgeous. I yeah. love that inlay. It really <laughs> makes it. It's like racing stripes. I yeah. love it. It's got a yeah. nice character. It adds a nice character yeah. to it. And this will age well too, won't it? I mean, it's going to be... Your children's fingerprints will be all over this. <laughs> there, so, someday in the future, there will be a Raspberry 25 inside. I think so, and the grandkids will be playing on it. That's really neat. Well, I would love it if we could uh, get some of the information uh, on the website, but you said there are no plans for this, huh? You just made it up as you went along? Yeah, I, I like I said, I used the plans from Instructables, and I think Jason will have that link, mm -hmm. but I can certainly send it if you don't. Yeah, yep. we'll put that uh, on And then from website. there, I change it as I needed to to fit the actual components that Jason had sent me. Yeah, there's Very the nice. original instructions. Yeah, what, it, much what it helps you create is just a two-player machine, right. more or less, right. uh, without the trackball. So, right. um, yeah, well, it's just I can I can tell you this, Diami, every quarter that goes in here is going to go right <laughs> back to you. <laughs> right. After I'll put a little cup the under ground. there. It'll catch yeah. all the quarters. <laughs> we'll just send it back to you uh, for years to come. Diami, tell us the name of your podcast. It is the Modern Woodworkers Association. And we can find that at? ModernWoodworkersAssociation.com. There you go. Good choice. Yeah. Uh, absolutely must listen if you're into wood. Hey, there it is. And there, and there, so you did a show on this as well. Good. Good. Yeah, I think you've been updating nice. on it over the course of the many months that you've been working on it. So Look that's at that. awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking. Now, this, there's no guarantee you're going to get tech news today on this one, but uh, you, the early versions. Oh, yeah. You were able to get it's to a, it. It's, it's a bonus upgrade. Diami, sure. thank you so much. Thank we you, really Diami. appreciate it. Uh, 
No problem. Nice uh, job. It's a pleasure to work with the project. Thank nice you. Nice job. What a great project. I know. Oh. I know. Now, now I, I will say I'm a, I'm a little worried about tonight because I'm going to be carting this home, which is exactly what I want to You're do. You're not walking down the street. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's not the part that worries me. I got a me, meme though. cabinet here. Get out of my way. <laughs> the part that worries me is now that this is going to be in the house, keeping my, my uh -oh. two kids uh -oh. uh, from wanting to do the, nothing but this daddy's forever and ever. Daddy's keeping daddy's office. Uh, this yeah, is daddy's work. That doesn't exist. So this we'll is... see what. We'll the good happens. news is there's there's no Grand Theft Auto 4 on here, so I, no. think, you're, I think you're all right. No, there's a, there's, there's a lot many of games? wholesome games. How many games are there? Uh, good question. I do, oh, actually, let's see it here. Goes forever. There is a way to, uh, oh, man, I can't remember, but it's it's a couple thousand, I think. Wow. I mean, and then wow. I can go, you know, and skip between. Oh, look, by category. It's already 2,600. You know, of course. Oh, my I, oh, gosh. Oh, oh, Dreamcast. Oh, Wait a minute, go back. That's my game. That's my game. Yeah, oh, we don't really have anything. We don't have any Gamecast games. But I, I suppose it's capable. Some. I guess so. so. Look at that. Anyways. That was my favorite thing. My son asked the other day, who do we give our Dreamcast for to and can we get it back? <laughs> so that was a long time ago. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't you know have to go on eBay for that, yeah. I have a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I was running Windows CE, I believe, on the Dreamcast. Pretty fantastic. Um, I do want to put some LEDs in here and in here to kind of oh, light them up done. a little bit. Not done. Um, so, you know, I've got ideas for projects of, of how to project. kind of improve it over time. The yellow gold meme cabinet, Yeesh. thanks to Instructables and Diami Plotke and, and Aaron, Aaron Newcomb, Newcomb, who did a great job. Yeah. He, he was here for a solid day you was know, he? a couple of days ago. Yeah, uh, he loves we, doing this stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, he's, he's a maker at heart, so Very nice. he enjoys it. Thank you, Jason. Well done. Yeah.